Some of you thin ass tricks don't have enough ass to keep the pussy off the sheets. But we <laughs> we can go on. Well, they, these two these two are like the opposite ends of the spectrum. These next two words when it comes to old heads and when it comes to the young rappers. Culture, you can talk about one of them when we get to it. But the first one I want to talk about is lyrical spiritual. Uh -huh, okay. Lyrical spiritual rap for me, it comes off as those type of niggas that I don't, I didn't got sick of the fast flow in rap. A nigga like Eminem, uh, uh, you know, Crip, like the YouTuber Crip. Yeah. Okay. I can never enjoy that nigga's music, bro. He sounds, he's a lyrical spiritual rapper to me. Even if lyrically, uh, like the song that he makes would have like a deep topic, just his type of rap style. Niggas who just try to fit in so many syllables in just a certain amount of seconds. That shit, that shit is annoying to me. Like, like they probably think it's like fun. It probably boosts their adrenaline by rapping that fast. But to me, it always comes off as pretentious. Like you trying too fucking hard to seem like a good rapper. And when it comes to a uh, really quick to the Eminem shit, this might be an unpopular opinion. One one of Eminem's most like, I ain't gonna say most popular, but it's always praised as one of his best songs because of the lyrics in it. Is Infinite, the song Infinite from his first album Infinite. Yeah, Infinite is an easy example of what I'm talking about. That song was a lyrical spiritual song to me, and I never liked it because it comes off as this nigga. First of all, this was like '95, '96 era Eminem before he even got famous, so he was just trying to sound like whoever he could to get a buzz, but. Just listening back to that song as time went on, I'm like, bro, this nigga, I don't really fuck with this song. This nigga song, he's a trying too hard to be lyrical. Like he was <laughs> just saying, a, he was just saying a bunch of shit because they went together. Yeah, um, my definition is a tad bit different from yours, but it's still on the same basis. I just think a lyrical spiritual, a uh, spiritual miracle is somebody. Uh, simply put, as a lyrical rapper, a boom bap guy, a, a conscious rapper, somebody who, you know, what I'm saying, um, you know, the the you know the wordsmiths of the game, the the guys who say clever shit on the track. Now, uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. Now that you said, pointed it out, um, I found myself not really enjoying the you know them type of rappers either because I really literally had to go to the comments or not the comments, but to genius.com one time to look up what this one fast ass rapper was saying. And this nigga was just saying, I hit that, I ripped that, I stick that, I get that. I, I'm like, bro, this nigga is literally saying something that some night can be saying slow and be, and be roasted for. Somebody could be roasted for saying this, the, you know what I'm saying, the same thing, but slower. And you know what I'm saying? But because the dude said it quick, I get that, I spit that, I hit that, but they did that. It's like, it's like, okay, it's like, all right, it's cool. You could say it quicker all day long, but it's still the same verbiage. It's still the same amount of trash. Like, you know, a crypt, like you said, an Eminem, uh, a, uh, a, a, a Joyner Lucas can say really quick shit. It's more impressive when you say fast shit and it's still like clever as fuck. Like, if you say something, you know, yeah, it's hard to do. I forget what this one fucking rapper's name was, but he's so fucking fast. Like, I forget. He's super quick. It ain't. It's not Twister. It's um, what the fuck was his name, bro? He yo, I gotta go to my old Spotify playlist because I have one of his songs in there. Nigga, but, I got um, a perfect example that I can play too. After you get done with this, like, bro, uh, you you know Pat Poos, right? Yeah, yep. Back, back in the day at the BET Hip Hop Awards, they used to do this thing called uh, Insta Booth Freestyles. They'll have like 20 or 25 rappers that come in and just random points throughout the ceremony and just spit like a little 30 to a minute freestyle, whatever. Back in 2016, this nigga Pat Poos did one, and I always hated this freestyle. This nigga 100% came off as lyrical spiritual. This nigga, I don't even remember what he fucking said, but it was like, boom, bionic, bionic, I got it, got it. I, I'm like, I hate this shit. I got to try to find it, though. I don't even think my, if I try to play it, I don't think my fucking phone will even be loud enough to where niggas can hear it, but I'll probably just play a clip of it in the Man, I, it don't work. Oh, I actually found this shit. Let me know if you can hear this, bro. Let me listen to the bullshit. This shit is trash. <laughs> He, he's just saying words. Like, that's what I'm talking about, bro. Like, he's just saying words. If somebody said that shit slow, 
And somebody said that shit slow, like they literally get roasted for like, bro, you're just saying where's that rhyme? Because this nigga is saying it kind of fast and saying it like, you know what I'm saying? He probably even doing hand signs and shit while he's doing it. Like he's like he's doing something impressive. It's impressive that you could like if you could freestyle that shit and say like, oh shit, like, you know, you know these words. You know what I'm saying? That's that's a little impressive, but at the same time, it's the same fucking word. It's nothing hard to say the same word over and over because you're doing it in such a short instance. Okay, cool, but it's like, bro, it's called that's the, that's the thing right there, though, bro. Some people will say the fact that somebody can rhyme that fast and make it to where you can hear every word and they say everything so clean. That's the that's the skill behind it. A nigga like a Buster Rhymes or a Twister. The fact that they're rapping that fast, or somebody in Bone Thugs. The fact that they're rapping that fast and you can hear everything they're saying, that's the skillful part. If you try to slow it down and say all those words at a slower pace, it's not going to be as entertaining to listen to. But I do agree with what you said, though. Like, somebody can literally... When it comes into the fast flow, uh, I think it was Anticipated Charts that called it the hippity flippity flow. That shit killed me. But when niggas (laughs) have that hippity flippity flow, people just... Those are the main people. They don't pay attention to the lyrics either. They'll just hear a nigga... And like that shit come out. Oh, this nigga spitting. Like, but do you even know what the fuck he's saying? Like, no, but this shit sound hard. Right. It sounds hard, but it isn't. And that's exactly what them niggas would say, bro. I don't know what he's saying, but this nigga going off right now. I'm like, y'all yeah, don't think that's like you overrating this shit right out the gate, bro. You just say I don't know what he's saying, but this shit sound fire. <laughs> like that's the definition. Like you dick sucking already, bro. You just saying it sound good because he rapping fast. Exactly. Exactly. And uh, that's why this style, the lyrical style, is dying very fast because um, I'm not going to lie to you, bro. There are more lit rappers, newer lit rappers coming into the game, blowing up from SoundCloud and then becoming viral sensations rather than lyrical rappers who had to go back in the day, had to sell uh, mixtapes off the street and shit like that. It's, it's, it's easier to be, you know what I'm saying? That's why they want to be lit rappers now. It, it's, it's, you know, motherfuckers don't want to think no more. But the niggas that do sit there and think, that's why they call it rap trash. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, them spiritual lyrical miracles, yeah, they're, they're, they're corny. There are a lot of corny motherfuckers like that. I'm going to try to find another example of a nigga using that hip and flip it and flow. It's this rapper that I heard of called Black Alicious. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> it's a rapper named Black like Delicious. A, that sound like that, 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 that sound like a porn star. <laughs> I hate this nigga name, but Black Delicious has a song called Rock the Spot. And that, that Oh my god. Like, <laughs> that's a, that sounds that confirms it. Yo, you sure you sure he's not doing porn right now, bro? Like that's crazy. I don't know what the fuck he's doing in his life. I don't want to find out. But Bruh, this nigga is supposedly don't. a rapper. He, he, he's rocking the spot over here. But um He's I'm rocking to, the spot. <laughs> I'm gonna the bro, G spot. This this definitely a part in one of this fucking song. It's like in the first verse, this nigga had this hippity flippity shit. Let me try to find it. I'm about to start calling it that. Anticipate got me hooked. Like, I'm not. I might have to stop saying lyric, lyrical spiritual. Like that hippity flippity type of rap. That's crazy, bro. Shit's crazy as hell. I already found it right here. It's about to come up in like five seconds. But peep this shit. This nigga was literally just speaking fast as hell and saying a bunch of nothing. Right here. What the fuck? You didn't hear none of that shit. <laughs> oh, you heard what he just he talking. He's just talking continuously and not taking breaks. <laughs> that's what I be talking about, bro. Like a nigga would hear something like that, but bro, this dude spit like when I hear music like that, I don't think that at all. I'd be like, bro, you like trying too hard to like make something like you spit and like, shit look you annoying to listen to. That's the saddest shit I've ever heard in my life, bro. Uh yo. That nigga. Is he still like how old is that shit? Is he still rapping? I don't even know. Like the song itself, I heard this that the song came out like before, like 2004, so the song over shit. Oh, fuck. Yeah, he can't still be rapping because that shit, you know. Motherfuckers will hear shit like that and be like, oh, I miss when music was like that. I know you don't, bro. Trust me, you don't. Definitely don't. 
you like when Lil Uzi raps fast about lean and cars and fucking the same girl and getting his heart broke. That's 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 the shit you want to hear real slow. The worst part about that is I just found out that's a group. Black Alicia is not even one person. That's crazy. That's, and the, that, that's, the song came out in 1999. I just looked it up. That's definitely a porn group, bro. I mean, <laughs> I, you know, I, I don't want to. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're definitely they're definitely having fucking orgies right now. Orgies. <laughs> orgies. Fucking. <laughs> orgies and orgies. Fucking. Uh, nah. Black Alicious. That, that's crazy. Who who fucking. Who who sat? What what which man sat there and and, and thought to themselves, bro? Black Alicious. Yes, sir. Like, let's do this. Destiny's <laughs> Child and all these. All I these one other, of them niggas brought it up, but the other nigga agreed to it. Oh, Black Alicious. That's actually cold. Yeah, that's cold as shit, bro. We get all the bitches. I mean, uh-huh. nigga, you you the one who thought of the boom and chaos show. That's probably the same conversation them niggas had. But that shit. Nah, different. bro. I, I mean, well, nah. You ain't. Yeah. All right. I guess. No, that that shit ain't that bad. <laughs> The Not Boomer really. Chaos show got it. At least that got a ring to it. Black Alicious is like, uh-uh. That shit's enough, gay, bro. Talk- <laughs> it's, nothing, it's nothing but niggas in the group. That's why it's gay. It's like, bro, you know, bro, Black Alicious. Unless a girl is sitting there and be like, oh, yes, Black Alicious. Like, nah, dog. I'm, you're not going to catch me saying that. Be like, yo, throw on that Black Alicious. Unless, unless my girl doesn't know who that is and there's, she's uh, instantly assuming we're about to watch some porn together. Nah, bro. You're sending the wrong message. Throwing that black delicious. That's that's something you've never heard. Not even in the nineties you heard that. Just to end off really quick on the hippity flippity shit, I did find one last example. This nigga Crazy Bone. It's like a song from Bone Thugs, like first album called Flow Motion. This nigga bro, Crazy Bones verse in Flow Motion is like some of the fastest rap you will hear, and this shit is so annoying to listen to. Like I, <laughs> I to this day, I've never even tried to look up the words what this motherfucker was saying. Let me try to find this shit. Here you go, right here, bro. Listen, you about to hear like just ten seconds of fucking gibberish. You ready? All right. What the fuck? <laughs> I didn't hear none of that shit, bro. Bro, what word? It's literally all. <laughs> If a nigga did that on a track today, he'd be mean to death. He would be mean to it. Like, I was like, bro, who the fuck is this dude? Right. I got Hold on, bro. I got to put this shit one more time. Just, you can just hear the audacity of this shit. <laughs> them niggas, that, mind you, that was their first album. Like, them niggas were trying too hard to come off as, like, fast rappers and shit. That, that's what bro, I mean bro, when bro, I say bro, niggas trying too hard, bro. You really... I what, hear the shit, fu- like, what? Bro, what the fuck are you doing? Did you hear any word in English? Just now. <laughs> that, that nigga said, bro. I didn't hear... All I heard was 187. <laughs> that's it, bro. I, I didn't hear nothing, bro. I didn't hear nothing else. Literally, bro, I heard no fucking words. I heard no fucking words. That nigga was just saying see, shit. Somebody probably out there listening to the podcast and go, oh, me and you hate it, bro. That Pat, that Pat Poole shit, that Black Alicia shit, and all the crazy bone shit, somebody can easily be like, why are these two little niggas hating right now? And them niggas was spitting. I'm like, bro, them niggas was not spitting. That came off as a bunch of bullshit. Yeah, they were spitting, all right. Fucking that last <laughs> nigga was definitely spitting all over the microphone. <laughs> that was fucking bullshit. If he got paid for that, then he should, nah, bro. That label should ask for their cash back. That's crazy. I need to make that's a just, video about that shit. Like five time rappers were trying too hard. I don't know. Hey, hold on. That's it. That's, that, that's it. Hold on. That's it. That could be a video. Let me not share my my ideas with y'all niggas. Somebody probably watching this shit right now. Come on, let me make this video for America to it. Shit, motive rank. <laughs> that's the first thing I thought about, but I didn't want to say his name. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah, right. He, he already took the five fucking the five people shit. Niggas, that, that nigga been five watching things, that shit. like rappers who that I can't stand. Some shit like that he made. I know, right? I'm like, bro. What the he fuck? did. I think he did like three to try to switch it up. Told him, oh, I ain't do five. We did three. That's your man. You, he, you been biting. You ain't my man's. Hell no. Nah. He ain't nobody man's. He been bite. He bite so many fucking flows. He ain't got no teeth, bro. 